Hello, my name is Steven Broussard and today we're going to be examining Robert Merton's Anatomy Strain Theory. This theory is one that I feel requires a deeper understanding of the creator uh, to fully appreciate its origins. So Merton was born, Meyer R. Skolnick, in 1910 to immigrant parents from Eastern Europe. Growing up, Meyer's love for Harry Houdini actually inspired him to begin a career as an amateur magician that made him change his name to Merton. Harry Houdini's original name was Eric Weiss, so Meyer thought it would be cool to change his name to sound like Merlin, King Arthur's famous magician. Merton's life is inspiring itself because, unlike most successful sociologists of his age, he was not born with family resources readily at hand. He was raised in South Philadelphia slums in an apartment above his father's dairy store, both of which would burn down, leaving his family unemployed and homeless. That didn't stop him from getting his Ph.D. from Harvard University, however. He went on to work with a number of well-respected sociologists, including Talcott so, Parsons. So. Anime strain theory expands on Emile Durkheim's original concept of anime, which refers to a state of normlessness in society. Merton asserts that this sense of futility brought on by anime is what drives us to deviant behavior because cultural goals are not achievable for everyone due to a lack of institutional means. So basically, when cultural goals are set too high for those of lower class and less resources to achieve, the rules of the game must be changed. So Merton determined that individuals have a range of five uh, adaptations that are made when we experience enemy strain. Conformity, innovation, ritualism, retreatism, and rebellion. Conformity is the adaptation we all know and love, where no deviant behavior is acquired and we accept cultural goals and institutional means to reach them. Uh, innovation accepts these same high goals, but resorts to deviant acts like theft or slinging dope or what have you for success. Uh, ritualists scale down their goals um, to something more manageable through institutional means so they don't have to engage in this deviant behavior. Uh, retreatism involves the rejection of both cultural goals and the institutional means of reaching them. Uh, this category fits the bill for drug addicts, social hermits, and so forth. Uh, finally, rebellion is the deviant adaptation that rejects cultural goals and institutional means, but is much more active than retreatism. Rebellion means more like behavior that tries to overthrow the existing social structure. So you can see how it's very different than retreatism that kind of just hides itself away. And that is the extremely basic rundown of anime strain theory. Uh, the imbalance between our high cultural goals and legitimate means of achieving them leads us to choose an adaptation in order to deal with the stresses of anime. So I guess the only question left is to decide what you are. Thanks for watching anyway.